Hi friends and welcome to my channel. So before I start the tutorial, I want to say thank you so much for all your support because you keep this channel going. And with your support, I want to continue with Daniel Pintado Game Development Studio to help small developers to create their game in the easiest and cheapest way possible, helping to provide you with assets, animation, grouping, and also my personal help absolutely for free. Also how to get grants from, for example, Epic and Kickstarter or even how to publish your game in different platforms like Steam, Epic, etc. And you will not have to give me credit, commission or anything. So there will be some guidelines to follow for the order or the project to help. You only have to enter to my YouTube channel, subscribe to my channel and in the upper right corner and click in the link. Or in the description of this video you will have the link. At the end of this page, you will have questions and answers already answered by me about the YouTube channel and the project, and I will be updating this page with new and content, so stay tuned. So if you want to help me with this project, you only have to enter in my coffee page and donate the amount you want, or you can be a member for exclusive content and support. You can also hire me as a freelancer to advance more faster or if you want, I can create a complete game for you. I will be updating this membership with new exclusive content and more stuff. And if you want to talk with me directly, you can go to my Discord channel. So if you need help in your project or maybe you need help in the tutorial or the tutorial is not working for you or you have a request video or something, you can talk with me in the Discord. So thank you for watching and let's start the tutorial. Okay, so I'm back with another part of this series. So today we want to do two things. So we want to be um, improve the shooting system we have already. Also we want to add some sounds because right now I have the assault rifle. Um, we don't. We want to be able not only to shoot a single time, but we want to do it uh, multiple times. So that's better to assault rifle sounds. And also, I have this sound I set, so if I go play, uh, be ready, it's a little loud. <laughs> so we want to use the one, if you have better than this, uh, they're gonna be great. Um, also, the second thing we want to do today is be able to pick up some pistols, because we, uh, we want to have different kind of weapons, so we can see how to blend these all these together, not only the similar kind of stuff, the weapons, so we want to be different kind of weapon also with the animation and things like that and also in the future we want to ask maybe a shotgun so you can see how they do that and also um, um, a bazooka or a grenade launcher or whatever so we want to add that in the future if you want to see that you leave me in the comments so let's do first the sounds and improve the seat on the, on the fighting the shooting sorry okay so we want to go to the character so let's go to gta character go to character blueprint and in here we want to go it's right there but if you don't know you need to bring graph go to fire weapons let's go here and here we want to all this time in the end so in here uh, some people ask me how they do this because um uh, for example, if I put sound here, like I wanted to do it today, and also a uh, uh, master flash, thing like that, they need to connect also the falls, so a lot of people do it like this. Um, that is the wrong way to do it, because if you do this, for example, you have something like take damage, we have it here, so they check in if it's an actor. If this go to um, false, there is no variable for whatever reason, they're gonna give you error if maybe you wanna crash the game. So you don't want to do that. So there is the wrong way to do that. So I wanna show you how to do that. So first you need to add everything you're gonna need only when if you hit some target. After you finish with that, you need to add everything they wanna call, even if you, if you uh, miss the shot. So for example, I make this, so now I want to create the thing I want to always be sound, so I want to put in here. So let's put play sound. It's a sound 2D. I want to do it in a location because it's more realistic, not only in the camera of the player. So let's go here, let's get the sounds, but I want to improve the sound we have here. So let's 
click it, right click, it go to create a queue. So in here, let's put less sound. So let's put 0.4, for example, because it's a little loud. Uh, you can do whatever you want, but I'm gonna leave only like that. So let's test it. I think it sounds better. Okay, so let's use it. So let's select this, go in here and paste it right here. So the location, we can put it in the gun, for example, but it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna put it in the character because it's close enough. So it's more easy, uh, it's more easy to uh, get the reference. So from here, let's go get actor location. So we need the actor itself because it's in the character and let's connect this to here. So like I said, so we want to do this all the time, even if I miss. So from doing that, let's connect the false directly to here. We can skip this part. So let's do a few reroutes. So they look more professional like this. And also remember if you miss this one, also, we want to connect in here. So let's do another reroute and just go to the false like that. So whatever happens, they're going to go in this road. So they're going to go to play this out. So let's test it. So let's go play, uh, compile, save. Let's go play. So I have to do a sprint system <laughs> because this guy is too slow. Well, well, it's okay. I don't think I created it yet. So let's go to the shop. Let's buy this weapon. Let's pick it up. So now there's aiming. Let's shoot. Okay, they sound good. Even with a single shot. But if I want to do it multiple times, if I um, continue pressing it, they only shoot once. So I want to keep shooting like a real assault uh, rifle. Assault rifle. So let's do that. So let's close this. So they're really easy. So um, you can do this for a lot of different ways. You can use a gate, but I don't like to use gate because it's uh, more confusing to understand. And also I want to be able to modify this later. So that, that way I can test, I can have a variable to know if I shoot it or not. So we can be, we can do things if we are uh, shooting, uh, but that's gonna be for later. So I'm gonna create this uh, right now, so I have it already, the boolean for that. So let's get some space, or oh, we can leave it like that. So when we fire, we want to have a boolean. So let's do that. So in here, let's create a new boolean. So add it, and let's put a uh, fighting, for example. So we are, or shooting, or whatever you want to call it. I want to call it uh, fighting. So let's leave it like that. So let's compile, save. So when I press fire after, if we are aiming, we want to be able to set fire to true. So that means we are fighting like that. And you know what? We need more space. So let's move this a little bit. Okay. And from here, we want to be, when we release the fires, we want to automatically go to false. So let's connect this like that. But this is gonna be only for the assault rifle um, because later we want to add the system for the pistol and the pistol you don't want to uh, be doing that. Okay, so when doing this, we want to create here a branch. So let's do a branch. So that means oh, we need more space. Let's do more, uh, move this a little bit. Let's move it just just like that, it's okay. Okay, so if we are fighting, so this is true, we want to be able to do this, but we want to continually doing it, so we want to do a sequence here, so we can do two things in a row. So the first, we want to do this again and again, so we want to use a delay node or something that is more precise, it's a retrievable delay. So let's do a retrievable delay, and how fast you want. I want to be something really fast, so let's boost 0.1, I think is more than enough. And let's connect to the uh, completed right here. Let's reroute this a little bit. 
or we can put this like that okay and let's put this here and this one in this one okay so if we are fighting we want to this do again and again and again but we want to do it first so they can continue retakeable in later the, the like less than a millisecond so they're gonna do this so let's test it you see how this working so let's compound save let's go play uh, let's go to the shore shop and uh, let's pick up um, this sound rifle so let's pick it up and buy it keep it and let's try so if i shoot one time if i press it if i release it they will stop it so, So the next thing we want to do is how to be able to pick up some pistol. Okay, so let's do the pickup stuff. So that's working. So let's go to the pen graph. So we want to go to the main weapon. So if we go to the main weapon, if you don't have it here, you need to go where the weapon is. So it's going to be in TTA uh, weapons and go to the main weapon. So this is the main weapon. So we want to go this full again from the different uh, weapon so we want a pistol so let's create a child from here so let's create a child blueprint class we call it pistol blueprint so let's open it and let's put everything we need so first we need the skeleton mesh so there's gonna be a pistol so we don't have a pistol so i'm gonna use smg so the more similar to the pistol we I get so they're gonna be this one it's not a pistol but we can simulate this is a pistol so let's go to the sphere and we want to be this more bigger so let's do 100 for now or maybe 150 so that's big enough to pick up so let's compile and save and also we want to go to the weapon type and change this to the SMG because we want to do this like they was the pistol so let's compound save so that what i mean is in the weapon type we have the knife uh, ka47 granite grenade smg AR, ar4 so we have this stuff so we want to use the smg for the pistol uh, the other one is from the assault rifle that i suppose is the ar4 yes so we have that one so this one gonna be as a rifle and this one they gonna be for a pistol if you, you can rename if you want <coughs> sorry for the cough so you can rename if you want or leave it like i wanna leave it like that so it's mg so let's close this so in weapon type we have the pistol so let's go to the dp character blueprint so in here we can do this a few different ways so but I'm gonna do it the more easiest uh, understandable possible so that's more easy to adjust for later for later so after the main weapon when you pick it up automatically they call this equip weapon so that's gonna be this blueprint key weapon so we want to be able to know what kind of weapon we, we have so we can do a variable here if we want or we can do it even more easy go to the um equip weapon here let's create a new uh, variable here they want to be the weapon type if you don't have a selected here you need to go here and put weapon type you automatically they want to be this one weapon type enumerator so you select that one and let's call it weapon type so we have in here also let's put it in here so we have the reference for later so from here let's promote to a variable so we have this weapon type also from the character so let's do a reroute so also we disconnect this one because i want to be more clean 
So let's find the weapon mess. So that one. So let's connect it in here. Okay. So let's separate this a little bit. And we want to from the weapon type, we want to switch weapon. So this time we want to know what what the uh, blueprint need to do depend on what it is. So if it's a AR4, we want to do this. Simple like that. If it is a pistol, they're going to be SMG. I want to set something like print strength. It's not a big deal, but you can see if it's working or not. So let's compile and save and let's test it. So let's put that first in the game. So we have here the assault rifle and let's put here the pistol. So we have both in the level. So let's test it. So if I go play, If I go to the pistol, I press the button for pick it up, automatically I have my, they don't say nothing. Okay, I forgot to connect to the main weapon and here we have the weapon type here. I forgot to connect this. So after, if you don't see this, you need to go to the key weapon, right click, go to refresh node, automatically gonna go here and you need to select we have it here because this is the main weapon so we want to change this for each child so let's go get type and connect this to here that will easy so now they know where to fit in here and that was my my bed so let's do that so let's save it and let's go play so let's test it again so now if we go to the pistol we got to be able to see the hello in the corner so press it say hello but if we pick up the assault rifle we have in here if i want to pick up the pistol nothing happened they just change my assault rifle why this happened because we have in the interaction here we need to go here if we are overlapping stuff so we want to also when we pick it up we want to destroy something because they because they still overlap in the other weapon so let's say here so in the main weapon if we say the sphere and let's do it like visible so like that so let's compile save if you go play you can see there is the sphere so if i pick up the assault rifle we still have this sphere so we don't want this sphere right here so we want to pull it out so for doing that we want to when this call in the main weapon here after we pick it up we want to get sphere and go destroy destroy component like that it does it so compound and save let's go play so now you can see if we pick up the assault rifle, automatically destroy my um, the sphere collision. So if I go here, now we can call this one because they have the sphere collision. But like you notice, they automatically they destroy it because they simulate I pick it up. So that's working. So that's why they don't have picked it up before because you need to delete the sphere collision. So this is working, so let's go to the pistol, no pistol, I got the blueprint, go to the file here. So for the next video, we want to add this to the socket, also add it to, um, to the socket, yes, and also be able to unequip it correctly, because we want to be able to switch between the um, assault rifle and the pistol. So they're going to be more professional and also really easy to uh, adjust for later if you want to add different things thing like that. Okay, for so that's gonna be it for the video. So like I said, if you want to support me, you can go to my uh, coffee page and you can uh, donate if you want, you can uh, make me a coffee or you can be a subscriber if you want to have the project files from these tutorials and also a special uh, stuff, exclusive stuff only for members. So, like I said, 
if you want to talk with me directly you can go also to my discord page so thank you for watching and see you in the next video uh, bye bye